Topic 1, Lesson 7, Multiplication and Division Comparison Problems. Well, so far you've learned how to interpret a multiplication equation as a comparison. In this lesson, you're going to solve a problem involving multiplication as comparison by using a diagram and writing an equation. So our standard is both of these. It's actually two, multiply and divide to solve word problems involving multiplicative comparison as well as interpret a multiplication equation as comparison as well. So we have a lot going on in this particular lesson. Our focus is how can a diagram and an equation be used to solve problems involving multiplication comparisons? And it is encouraged to use both, to use diagrams, drawings, whatever you have, as well as equations, whatever works best, use, use them, if not both of them. So Here's our problem. Our problem is Juan bought 18 yellow balloons and he bought three times as many yellow balloons as purple. How many purple balloons did he buy? Let's take a look here. What do we know? Well, we know that Juan bought the 18 yellow balloons and then he also bought three times as many yellow balloons as purple. And what do they want us to find out is how many purple balloons did he buy? So we're given certain information, but we also have to find other information. So let's use a diagram here. So let's make our solution. Our solution is set up this way, where we can make a box. Now, what do we know? As we said back here, we know that there are 18 yellow balloons. So that'll be right here. Let me go ahead and change this and we know that this is 18 yellow balloons here. That's what we know. And down here we're trying to find out how many purple that we have. And we also know if we go back that he got three times as many yellow balloons as purple. And what we can do is divide this into three sections. Why do we do that? Well, we know the total amount, which is up here, 18 yellow. And we know that he also got three times as many. So one, two, three times as many as he did the purple. So we're trying to find out what goes in the box. And we know our total, 18 yellow balloons. And we also know three times as many. Well, what do we do now? Well, we know that it's three times something is going to equal 18. This is where we get our three from the three boxes, one, two, three box. We don't know what this is, but we do know the total. So now we just have to find the missing number. And if you do this right, if you know what you're talking about, if you know your multiplication, you know that it's really three times six equals 18. Or we could do it the opposite way. We know that we have 18, we're going to divide by 3. What do we get? 6. So the missing number here that goes in the box would be 6. And that would be our answer. There are 6 purple balloons. Now try some on your own. Good luck.